Welcome back to Good Day Oregon. This weekend marks the return of the Tigard Festival of Balloons, where as many as 20 hot air balloons will be on display and available for tethered rides. Oh, it's such a sight, isn't it? Is. It's so beautiful. And this week's Andy's Adventures, Andy joins the team to find out what it takes to get a balloon airborne. All right, I'm with uh, Laura, who is the pilot, and my life is in your hands today. <laughs> yeah, so, so tell us a little bit about what's going to happen today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the balloon. We're going to put on its uprights, attach the envelope, lay it all over on its side, get a great big inflator fan, and fill it with, hot, with cold air. Mm -hmm. Just so it'll be a hot air balloon laying on its side here. Then I'll come around, do a safety check, start the burners, which will heat that air. It'll stand up right where it is right now over our heads. Woo. It gets a little warm. <laughs> I think I got enough adrenaline right there. We're good. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> Don't fall out of the basket. Stay yeah, in the just basket. Bend your knees a little bit. Yeah, lift Thank off. you. There we go. So one of the things about ballooning when you have other balloons in the air is they act as wind dum dummies. Mm -hmm. So I can see what the wind is doing by where they are and what direction they're going. Right now, the inside of the balloon is 200 and... 199 degrees. You can see people's lives. Yeah. In neighborhoods, you can see who's got this gorgeous front yard and the Chevy up on blocks. So what do you like best about the hot air ballooning compared to other things? People mm -hmm. would be number one. They have a passion for the outdoors of morning, of the stillness and the beauty of it, and the romance of no engine that we share. They're my favorite people in the world. My buddy Tony Martinez uh, has said this before, but landing a hot air balloon is almost like a controlled crash. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> it Bring depends it right entirely on the wind. Okay. If it's a perfectly calm day, you don't even know you've landed. Okay. If you're landing at 20 miles an hour, you you're definitely gonna know, it. know. It seems like there's an awful lot of people that volunteer. They, they, you they eager volunteers mm -hmm. for yep. this. Growing is a blast. It is so much fun. It's a game of hide and seek. Oops, that's how we lose hats. <laughs> that's how we lose hats and phones. Laura, thanks so much. Thank you to the crew. That was awesome. You're welcome. And, uh, to many more flights. To many more. And to soft landings. Yes. yes. <laughs> Indeed, the soft landings. Yeah, Love soft those. Landing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, good day, Oregon. We're, we're excited. We're going to yeah. be live at the Tigard Festival of Balloons tomorrow morning. Cool. Yeah, if you'd like some information about it, the schedule of events, you'll find a link on our website, kptv.com. All right, we'll get a